When people bring a piece of my artwork into their home, I hope that they see the same thing in it that I do, which is positivity, freedom to an extent, um, and then I hope that through their own personal experiences in their own life, they see something in it that's meaningful to them. My name is Jenna Cass. I'm an abstract artist in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and this is my studio. My path to being where I'm at now was pretty winding. As a kid, I loved drawing. I drew all the time and even sent um, some drawings into magazine contests. <laughs> and then kind of fell out of it as I got to be older in like middle school and high school. In college, while I was getting my journalism degree, I sort of picked up that creativity again as a way to relieve anxiety. After college, getting into working, I dipped back into it again and uh, really fell in love with it, specifically abstract art. When I started my business, Genicast Studio, I had just sort of started sharing my hand lettering on social media. It had a great reception and so it really just started with a little Etsy store where I was sharing some hand lettered quotes and over time as my hand lettering skill grew that evolved into a bigger business, a product based business, um, wedding work, calligraphy, invitation design and over the few years that I've had my business that has really evolved and grown to incorporate a lot of my design and my artwork and over time I've really been able to niche into what I love to do most which is creating artwork and then doing you know, lettering and design for weddings and businesses but I really just want my business to be about what I love to create and what I love to spend my time doing. In my paintings, one of sort of the core things that's really important to them is color choice. And as a graphic designer, I feel like I have a lot of experience working with color palettes and so that kind of helps guide me in terms of creating my color schemes for my paintings. So a lot of my color picking is really just based on visual interest on sort of my own style and preferences. So when I'm choosing my colors, I will just sort of explore what's available and then choose a palette that I feel is gonna be compatible. And then I also always try to throw something in there that throws me out of my comfort zone, whether that's metallics or lime green or something that I normally wouldn't gravitate to. When I push myself out of my comfort zone, which I try to do with every painting, that sets me free a little bit because I'm not held into this box of comfortable colors and repetitive work. Um, that I know I could get trapped in if I let myself. So I tend to throw in something that could ruin what I'm doing. Thankfully it's worked out well so far and it's also taught me a lot about being brave and experimenting, which has really helped me to evolve to the place where I am now. I know that I'm done with a painting uh, really by how I feel about it. Sometimes I'll know that I'm done and I'll just be able to walk away from it. Other times I feel like there's something missing and I walk away from it, but it 
really helps me if I step away for a day and come back and look at it. Then I can tell if it's missing something, I can tell if it's done, and I usually like it more after stepping away from it for a little bit. Whenever I can't paint, I tend to think about it a lot. <laughs> I tend to plan things out, um, but really I feel like something is missing when I can't regularly get to a canvas. And painting just allows me to sort of have fun and let go of a lot of things. And it's really uplifting for me personally to be able to do it on a regular basis. Even if I didn't sell art, even if I didn't make art that I showed anyone else, it would still be a really important part of what I need to do to sort of maintain my own mental health and self-care. So when people collect one of my original pieces, they're really getting something that is special to me. Um, I tend to refer to my paintings as babies because they really are. I mean, I am physically in a way giving birth to them out of my hands, out of my heart, out of my head. And each one is special to me. Each one means something. Each one is ingrained with my my energy and my emotion at the time I was making it. So when someone collects a piece for me, they really are getting a bit of who I am. I really love social media as a way to connect with people. Uh, my Instagram account is a place where I show a lot of my work, I show behind the scenes, and I also get to chat with people and meet people. Um, so I really love that platform for connecting. So if you want to follow me and more of my work, I am on Instagram at Jenna Cass Studio, and you can also visit my website, jennacaststudio.com.